Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties, and today I just want to go over um, the slice tool and talk about how to use it and when you should use it. Okay, so um, some things to know. I'm going to pull in some shapes here. Whoops, not text. Shapes. So I'm going to make um, a wavy line right now. So I've got my square. going to kind of make it a line. And now I need a bunch of circles to make the waves. So let me get some circles, bring those down a little bit smaller because we'd have huge waves if we don't, and duplicate this a lot. So I'm going to put one at the end, one at the beginning. Now I can move my line out of the way. And then I'm just going to throw all of these in here in the middle. And I'm going to align them. So I'm going to select all of this, and I'm going to come up here to align, and I'm going to align the bottoms of these, so align bottom. Now I want them all to be equal distance from each other, so I'll select them all again, come to align, and we're going to distribute evenly. Okay, so now I've got this wavy line. Weld all of that together, and this is the wavy line that we're now going to cut from here. Let me change this a different color so it's easier to see. Okay, so to make it um, perfectly centered, I'm going to select both of those by just dragging a box around them, a line, and I'm going to center it all. It already was, but just in case it's not, you can come up there and center it. And now we're going to select everything again, and we're going to hit slice. And you'll see I now have this perfectly scalloped line here, but I also have these scalloped designs that I can use um, if I'm wanting to make a border or something. Um, let me backtrack a little bit onto why I welded all that together. So I have my circles in here. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. Let me just align all of this again. Align bottom and distribute evenly. Okay. So now if I have my other square in here that I want to cut all this from, okay, say so this is, just say this is the look I want to go for. Let me move this underneath so that you can kind of see. We'll make this a different color. Okay, so here's my little scoops that I want to cut out. If I drag all this like it was, whoops, slices not available. The reason for that is you can only slice two objects at a time. So right now I have one, two, three, four circles and a rectangle, so that's five objects. That is why I turned all of these into one object by welding them. Now I just have my circles and my rectangle and my slices available. I can slice. And there I've got my scallops. Okay, something else you can do with Slice. Um, it's used to save vinyl. So I'm going to make a new design here. I'm going to make an ice cream cone because it's just one of the easiest designs that you can make with shapes. So I've pulled in a large circle. And now I'm going to do three smaller circles and just align them on the larger circle. And you can see this is the basic shape of an ice cream cone. If I come and I weld all this together, and let's say I turn it, I don't know, white, that's going to be my first scoop of ice cream. Let me make the cone. I'm going to get a triangle. I'm going to turn it upside down. Okay, I'm going to put it behind my um, white scoop of ice cream, so I'm going to come to Arrange and Send to Back. And I want to unlock this so that I can make it the right size to make it actually look like an ice cream cone. And let's go ahead and change its color. And kind of tannish. Okay, so I've got a pretty good start to my ice cream cone, but if you notice, let me pull this layer back up to the front. All of this extra vinyl that is going to overlap. When I put this triangle on first and then I put this ice cream on top of it, it's going to overlap all this vinyl. It's also going to waste all that vinyl because you aren't going to see it. 
But if I duplicate my top layer, and you'll see why in just a second, duplicate it and move it over to the side, then I select these two and I slice. This is why I duplicated, because now this slice is taken out of it and it's not usable anymore. When we get rid of all this, now I'm not wasting any vinyl. I can just put this right on top of it. And I haven't wasted any of my vinyl. And um, the same thing if I wanted to make extra scoops, if I want this to be a double layer, I'm going to duplicate this. Say I want this to be a chocolate layer. You can make that a chocolate layer. So this would go on top of here and I would slice, but first I need to duplicate. Because when I slice, I'm going to lose parts of this that I don't want to lose. So, slice. Get rid of everything I don't need. See how much of that, let me go back. See how much of this I got rid of that would have been wasted vinyl that I don't need? So now I've got my cone, got my vanilla scoop, got my chocolate scoop. Okay, move that up. Okay, so there I don't have as much wasted vinyl. Um, one more reason you would use the slice, um, if I pull in some text. So here's some text, we make it bigger, ungroup it and move it all around so I can weld it into one. Because remember, we cannot slice more than two objects at a time. So that's looking how I would want it. I'm going to select it all and weld. Okay, let me turn this a different color just so we can see what we're working with. I'm going to pull in a circle. And I'm going to enlarge it. And then I'm going to send it backwards so that I can just kind of see the text I'm working with up here. I can make that a little bit smaller. Okay, I'm going to drag my box around everything. Slice. And I have now sliced that word out of the middle of my circle. And I can make this whatever color I want it from here. So those are some easy things to do with Slice. That's how it works, and those are some reasons that you would want to use it. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.